Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your hosting or web service account. And more specifically, I'm gonna quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video. And that is how do you cancel a hosting or paid subscription? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you wanna cancel your paid subscription on hosting or anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're running an online business, you know that sometimes you're gonna get monthly subscriptions that kind of get out of hand. So maybe you're gonna go ahead and cancel some of those monthly fees and hosting is one of them. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your hosting or panel. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well. But I've already logged into my hosting or account, as you can see here. One thing I wanna let you know is this is taken care of in your hosting or panel. So you're gonna to go to hostinger.com and log in. I've already logged in. This is not taken care of in the website builder. So once you've logged into your hosting or account, what you're gonna do is here on the left side, you're gonna see this menu. You wanna open this one up here called billing. Once you do that, it's gonna see a drop down menu and you wanna click on subscriptions. Okay, so once you do that, you'll see all of the billing subscriptions that you have in Hostinger. You can see I just have this one. Now, the thing is when you cancel with Hostinger, you don't get a refund, but it's gonna stop it from billing in the future. So for example, I have the business web hosting and the price is $13.99 per month. So you can see right here, auto renewal on. We need to turn that off. So you need to click on this little arrow here to the right. Okay, once you click there, it's gonna show more information about your paid subscription on Hostinger. Now, in order to cancel this paid subscription in Hostinger, you need to click on this button. Disable auto renewal. Okay, once you do that, you're gonna get this warning saying that when you disable auto renewal, it's gonna cancel this service. It's gonna tell you the date that it's going to cancel. So as of that date, here will be the actions that are taking after that. So read through that. And if you're okay with that, you wanna click on disable auto renewal right here. Okay, a quick second later, the page refreshes back to my subscriptions. And now you can see that my paid subscription in Hostinger now has auto renewal off. So it's letting me know this is going to expire on October 23rd right here. So again, I don't get a refund for the time build before then, but the service I get to use the access up until this date. After that, the service would shut off and I will not be charged the monthly fee once again. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to cancel a paid subscription in Hostinger, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.